Your Excellency, President Sally Walk, Sweden, my big sister. Professor Tassi Waldehana, President of the Addis Ababa University. Faculty and students of the university. Excellencies Ambassadors, Honorable Ministers, families and friends of this great university, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, and of course, my beautiful wife, Grace. I wish to thank you, Professor Tasu Waldehana, the University Senate, and the faculty of this university for this great recognition to receive an honorary doctorate degree from this prestigious Addis Ababa University, one of Africa's oldest and finest universities. According to the Times Higher Education 2020 World University Ranking, Addis Ababa University was ranked sixth in Africa and number one in East Africa. Congratulations, you make universities and all of us in Africa extremely proud. I am most grateful. I am greatly honored and I am excited. But as I look at today, my heart goes to those that I know are going to be bigger than myself. I see a greater hope for Ethiopia for the young graduating class that you'll be having for the year of 2022. They will be better than myself. They will be better than Mr. Salini. You can hear me today, each one of you at home. Congratulations. You have been well trained. You have been well prepared. Now a future, a great one lies ahead of you. A great future where you will use your skills and knowledge to build and transform the digital economy of Ethiopia. A future where you will change the agriculture of Ethiopia. A future where you will light up and power Ethiopia. A future where you will build climate resilient and quality infrastructure for Ethiopia. A future where you will secure the pharmaceutical and healthcare industries of Ethiopia. And why not? A future where you will put an Ethiopian on the moon. Yes, for Ethiopia must rise and shine. I am a great admirer of Ethiopia and of my dear brother, Prime Minister Abiy Ahmed, and my dear sister, President Sally Wokzwede, for all that you do to move the development of this great country, Ethiopia, forward. Thank you very much. The African Development Bank has always been there for Ethiopia. Since the bank started its program operations in the early 1980s, it has provided financing of over $6 billion in support of Ethiopia. But since I was elected president of the African Development Bank in 2015, the bank's support to Ethiopia has been closed to $2 billion. Let me share with you a few of our major financing in support of Ethiopia. We financed the $1 billion Mombasa, Nairobi, Addis Ababa Road, which when completed will expand trade between Ethiopia and Kenya by 500% and allow Ethiopia's exports to go through Mombasa port in Kenya. Our support of $100 million grant finance the Adama Awash section of the Ethiopia Djibouti Highway, linking Addis to the port of Djibouti. Our support of $700 million as provided to the country for the energy sector has significantly increased access to electricity for households and industries boosting private sector activities while creating jobs. And our support for the Ethiopia-Kenya Electric Highway Project has made it possible to connect the entire East Africa power pool. Today, Ethiopia now sells electricity to neighboring countries. Bravo. Our support is allowing Ethiopia to feed itself. Through our technologies for African agricultural transformation, which we call TAAT, 
we provided 45,000 metric tons of seed of heat-tolerant wheat varieties to Ethiopia. The, the cultivated area under these heat-tolerant varieties in the Awash Basin expanded from 5,000 hectares in 2018-2019 to 167,000 hectares in 2020-2021 and to a whopping 400,000 hectares in 2022. Today's Excellency, the Prime Minister, was so generous to provide lunch for myself and my wife and my delegation. And I was talking to him about these 400,000 hectares with a lot of excitement. And he said to me, Akin, we now at 650,000 hectares. Wow. The Prime Minister said we have harvested 2.6 million metric tons of wheat. He said Ethiopia did not import wheat this year. Thank you. And he said next year, we will cultivate 2 million hectares on the wheat with these heat tolerant wheat varieties. And he went on to say, we expect to export 1.5 to 2 million metric tons of wheat to Kenya and Djibouti next year. What a revolution that is. What an incredible story of success. A success for Ethiopia, powered by the African Development Bank. Our $30 million support to the Sokota area in the Tigray region and the Amhara regions have helped to drastically reduce severe stunting and malnutrition. Our $50 billion loan to finance Debab Midrock cement led to a 75% reduction in the price of cement, boosting construction that we see all over the place today in Ethiopia. Our support, and I'm proud of this, to Ethiopian Airlines to expand its fleet has helped it to become Africa's giant in the skies, the new spirit of Africa, giving pride to all Africans. So, the single ladies and gentlemen, Your Excellency, despite its challenges, Ethiopia is building hope, and the African Development Bank is a partner of hope for Ethiopia. So, right here in this Unity Park, let the voice of hope, brotherhood, unity, and nationhood rise. Let it pierce through the clouds of despair fragility and conflict. Let there be a balm of peace and unity. For in the peace of Ethiopia lies the peace of Africa. So today, as a son of Africa, who loves Africa with all of my heart, and who believes in Africa, I dedicate this honorary doctorate degree to the people of Ethiopia. It is time to forget the things that are behind you and to reach out to the greater things that are ahead of you. A united, stronger, peaceful, and more prosperous Ethiopia. The Ethiopia we call the capital of Africa. May God bless Ethiopia. May God bless the people of Ethiopia. Thank you very much.